Hi my friend, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello and welcome. Today it is all about Valentine's Day. We are going to make a Valentine's Day breakfast, me and my family with the kids. I'm super excited. If that's something that interests you, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe if you have not already. Now, let's get started. Okay, first things first, we have to get the kitchen just prepped for us to come all in together. So I always start with unloading the dishwasher from the dishes the night before. Then we're going to start some water because I like to clean up as I go because it makes it easier when we're all done with the process. So first, unload the dishwasher. The morning dishes that are in here are going to get loaded. We're going to start some water and then we are going to start our Valentine's Day brunch. So I'm super excited. Let's get started. You could unpause me. So now we're gonna work together to get the groceries put away and get everything out that we're gonna use for brunch. So let's get started. but we do save our bags because we have a dog we used to pick up stuff we you know take groceries places anything we save these we are not throwing these away put it that can go into the fridge Blackberries, blueberries, strawberries, and raspberries. 
So it's a great source of fiber, great for smoothies and for snacks. We can put on our ice cream, but we're gonna use today to make smoothies. This is going in the freezer. Oh, the I'm going to show you where we put our bags. So here's inside the pantry. The bags go into this large bag right here. And we keep them in here. Easy access for the kids. If they have snacks that they're taking, if they need to go pick up dog poop, the bags are here. Easy access. So now here's everything that we are going to use today to make our brunch. Except these. These are for another dinner. <laughs> so what we're gonna do now is get our fruit cleaned out, cleaned off. So everybody go get a bowl, please. <laughs> And then we use this right here to get our fruit clean. So everybody's gonna get a bowl. Like I said, I always have water running just so we can wipe off as we go. So everybody's gonna get, here's the second sink. And we put this fruit and vegetable cleaner in. It is formulated to remove waxes, pesticides, and chemicals. I'm gonna put it in here. And you're gonna put your bowls over there. You can go ahead and get your fruit. What's the banana? Did you look? No, the, the bananas because that has a protective covering. Look down all around. Oh, there you go. So you can just start, you can pour your fruit in there. ready for our brunch. So today we're gonna do some Valentine's pancakes and some Valentine's Day banana bread. I'm super excited about this. Um,
She's so fine, ask me. It's like a perfect harmony. We are going to, we got our green grapes, our red grapes, and now we are going to rinse off our whoop, strawberries. And you don't know if you can just see all that dirt and stuff in there. So I'm glad we rinsed these off. Go into Tupperware that we're gonna place in the refrigerator. That way it's easily accessible for everybody. So what I do is I just put a little paper towel right in here. And then I put the strawberries in. And then we'll just place them in the fridge. But like I said, we are using these for our brunch today. So super, super excited. Oh, yeah. You gotta push it all the way. Keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. You'll hear a little click. I got it. Let me help you. Hold on, Macy. I gotta get a better grip. Let go. There it is. You hear a little click. And now you go slowly. Hold the bowl. No. 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 Oh. 
make sure we're looking at the next direction. So, I cut butter. Um, so about two to three minutes. Add eggs. So, Cameron, can you crack the egg? Yes. I'll take it over here. Bye bye. And what we're going to do is just so we won't get any shells in our food, we're going to crack the egg into that, that one. Yeah. Uh oh, it's okay. Just an accident. We're gonna get another egg. Hey. Somebody get a um napkin. Napkin, please. Oh man, I can't take that big splat in the face. Get some right there. Mm. Where should I put it? So you can just hand it to me. And you're gonna wanna put it. Let's get a bigger one for you. What do you want me to do with this? Put it on top of the steel egg. Yep. Yo! So how about cracking it into oh. something bigger like this one? Yolk. Don't pat it. We're gonna wipe it up. Oh, man. It smells like milk. Cows make eggs. Great job! You did excellent. I just crack it with my thumb. Yep. Okay. Now that can go into the pot. I did so into the bowl. I don't want to lick it. Then the face is so good. Me. Okay, pour that into the bowl. Pour that into the bowl. Thank you. You finish this? Yep. I need to sit down. Okay, and this is why we run water. Cameron, the step stool is right there, baby. Because we can clean up as we go. And remember, you're gonna crack that egg into this. That way, if any shells get in, they get into that and not into the um. Great job, buddy. You did it. Okay, and now that mm. egg goes into there. I did it like a real chef. You did it like a real chef. So now Ava's going to be in charge of the pancakes. And we're going to use a little bit of olive oil on our griddle. And whoop, whoop, whoop. And you're going to pour that onto the griddle. All of it? Some of it. It's like just to make a little circle. And that one you can actually make it really big because we need to have some that we can turn into a pancake shape. them up together okay one okay. two mind if we move this and put it over here um, why did you wait. no because you won't be able to there's three different oh i'm gonna spin the bananas too mm -hmm. whatever gets it if they want it do we do you see any more bananas no yes yes no yes any bananas you see, they need to be open and smooth. Mm -hmm. And we keep 
I told you we use these bags. We put the bag right here so we can always have a place for our trash. And then, okay. And then Cameron's gonna mix it. Mm. This? Yep. But it won't come over there with you. So what you need to do is just move it. You're not going to keep stirring that because what's going to happen is it's going to mess it up. Do not stir it again. Take your hand off of it. That's it. What's going to happen if I stir it? It gets too much. You beat it too much and it won't be good. Mm. You are looking for a teaspoon. Okay. One teaspoon. One teaspoon. Oh, that's what? one four. That's one half. One fifteen. Great job. Whoa, 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 whoa. Of baking soda. Uh oh. Must have been lit somewhere down here. Let's we'll use one that's already open. So you're gonna want to use. So you mix, when you're baking, you mix all your dry ingredients together. I should get my loaf. Is this loaf? So I'm going to Can I get a chef? And then we need, so how much did you, how much baking soda did you just put? I just put one teaspoon. Okay, so we need a one and a half. So you need this too. That's why I bought some. Remember that bag you were looking at? Yeah. Trust on the floor, so you can pour that in actually. So you already put one. Did you put the half? Okay. I need that. So you use the one. But we also need a hat. That's what I was, that's why I got it. Okay, that too. Can I do it? And then do we put one fourth teaspoon of salt? No. no. Can I do it? Yeah, you got salt. I will. This is the only ending. Pour it in. Great job. Okay. So now we've used all the ingredients. Yeah. So in a separate bowl, so that's the separate bowl, stir together flour, baking soda, and salt until combined. Add the flour mixture to the bowl with the banana mixture. So we want to get all the dry ingredients mixed together. And now, use a rubber spatula to fold and wet ingredients, just until no fold streaks remain. So start pouring the dry ingredients in. Ooh. 
fix it. Um, can you do it on the other side so the camera can see it, baby? Ava? Okay. Camera, excuse Ava. Excuse So now we are getting ready to finish preparing the pancakes and I have these little cutters that we're going to use to make little designs. So I have one that says I love and you and we have some little hearts. Super excited. Let's get these pancakes started. How many are they all together? You need to tell me that if you want me to answer the question. Let's six all together. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see how much they have all together. Okay, you back up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Go. No. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we're going to get ready to put the banana bread in the oven. I'm just putting it on this just in case any of it spilled on the side. Pop that in. Okay, so now the banana bread's in the oven, the pancakes are finishing, I'm gonna put some bacon on, and we have some little chicken minis from Chick-fil-A, and we're gonna get that all started. While I am waiting for that to finish, I'm gonna get the kitchen clean. I already have the water started, so I'm gonna wipe off the counters, just do a quick reset of the kitchen to prepare for everything to come out. Unload the dishwasher from the dishes we just put in, put in the new load of dishes that we've made, you know, just from all our cups and teaspoons and all those things, our measuring cups. So let's get that started.
That's good crunch. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>